back here at the football practice fields, wrapping up our 2013 preseason coverage. I'm now joined by Gabe Altieri talking about the defensive unit for this team. And we already saw the offense has a lot of key losses, but it seems that this defense team is has a lot more returners. They do. They have plenty of guys that are coming back. You look at a guy like Marquis Spruill. He's coming back. A lot of people are calling him the face of this defense, somebody who's really going to speak for them. Jay Bromley on the defensive line. And you look for guys like Cam Lynch to step up on that pass rush and put some pressure on the quarterback. But even though there are a lot of key returners for the defense, there are still those guys that Syracuse lost on the defense, especially over in the secondary. Shamarco Thomas over to the NFL, over to the Steelers. Yeah, Shamarco's the biggest loss, one of the biggest losses on this team with just how much he would speak for the defense in general and help out position-wise, help out those corners. So the secondary is a big question without Shamarco, but you look at guys like Rashard Anderson and Darrell Eskridge, and maybe they can step up for mm -hmm. him. And Shamarco, a huge leader on and off the field for this team. And then really the only other key loss for this team on the defense would be on the defensive line, Brandon Sharp graduating last year. He's graduated, and that was a big problem because you saw in that pit game how big Brandon Sharp can be. He can be a game changer out there for Syracuse. And they really need to replace that, but you guys, guys on the defensive line like John Raymond and Jay Bromley who can put, like I said, with the linebackers, put the pressure on the quarterback and help out the secondary. And lucky again for the defensive line, they do have senior Jay Bromley coming back one more year, expected to be a leader for this defense, and he said at media day that it's not much of a difference from defensive coordinator Scott Schaefer, now over to Coach Bola. Even though Coach Bola is the new defensive coordinator, he has a lot of, you know, maybe some of the same, because they work together, some of the same things that Coach Shafe, the way he, you know, terminology-wise. And, um, you know, that's a great feeling knowing that, you know, if you don't understand the way Coach Bullock taught something, that you can go talk to Coach Shafe, you know, he'll really make it easy for you. So Jay Brownlee, very confident in his new defensive coordinator in Chuck Bola, but back to that defensive line, a guy that's expected to produce very big for this team is the Iowa transfer in John Raymond. Yeah. Big metaphorically and big physically. The guy's 320 pounds. It's a big He's guy huge. out there. Yeah, this is the kind of guy they need, though. Like I said, the secondary has some questions. You can't give up those big plays because Syracuse doesn't want to get in those high-scoring games. You need to put pressure on the quarterback when you have a 320-pound guy in the <laughs> I line. wouldn't want to go up that against really a guy helps. like that. But now over to the secondary. We talked about Shamarco not there, but a couple guys that will be back out there. You got Keon Lynn as a senior now and guys like Richard Anderson, guys that are expected to step up now for Shamarco. Yeah, really a big question mark on this team and it's not, that's not to say they can't do it because we've seen flashes from these guys that they can be great at the cornerback and the safety position but now it's really the pressure is on them they don't have Shamarco to lean back on and you have to have the safeties helping out the corners and the corners helping out the safeties we've seen Keon Lynn a little bit undersized get beaten a lot of pressure and a lot of different ways on this secondary now yeah. to produce and then going over to the linebackers we already talked about another leader on this defense with Jay Brownlee you got Marquis Spruill out there. He's expected to be another face for this defense. Yeah, a lot of people are saying, hey, Marquis Spruill, he speaks for us. He's the voice of this defense. He's replacing Shamarco Thomas in that way. Uh, Cam Lynch yesterday said, hey, look, Marquis is the general. I'm more like the sergeant. So mm -hmm. it's the linebackers that are really going to be the face of this defense in the most important position, helping out both in coverage and putting pressure on the quarterback. And another guy on that linebacker's position, you got Dyshawn Davis. A lot of people are looking at that. That's another name thrown out there. So a lot of pressure on this defense, but good news for the Syracuse squad. A lot of returners with some experience. Well, that's it for our defensive preview, but you can keep it here at sportsblog.citrustv.net, getting you set for the season opener and all season. It kicks off August 31st against Penn State at MetLife Stadium. For Gabe Altieri, I'm Heather Pruzak. Thanks so much for watching.